In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with dilations. In example A, it says the center of dilation is P, so that's right here, so everything is being stretched from point P, and the scale factor is 3, so that means that everything is going to be 3 times as long. Find Q prime. So this little symbol right here, you read that as prime, and Q prime is the result after you have performed the dilation on Q. So Q, the original point, becomes Q prime in the dilation. So if the scale factor is 3 and this original length was 6, what we're going to do is multiply 6 times 3 and our new length will be 18 units long. So it has to be 3 times as big. So if it just ended here, that would have been a scale factor of 2 because it would have been twice as long. All the way up here is a scale factor of 3. So each of these little parts are 6 units. So all together this whole thing is 18 units long. And this is where Q prime is, way up there. So it's 18 units away from P. So Q prime is up here and it's 18 units from P. All right, example B. Using the picture above, change the scale factor to one third and find Q double prime. So we're working with the same situation as before, except this time our scale factor is less than one. So anytime the scale factor is less than one, it means that we're going to get a shape or a line segment that's smaller or shorter than the original. So everything is going to be divided by three, which is the same thing as multiplying by a third. So this length, which was six, when we divide that by three, it's only two. So we're only going a third of the way to Q, and that's where Q double prime will be, okay? So this should be two, and if we divide this out, we can see that it's about a third of the way of the whole original segment. So that's Q prime, double prime. All right, and let's go to example C. KLMN is a rectangle with length 12 and width 8. If the center of dilation is K with a scale factor of 2, draw K prime, L prime, M prime, N prime. All right, so the center is K, so everything is going to be stretched from K, and the scale factor is 2, which means every length in the result, the image, will be twice as long as its corresponding side in the original. So since this original length was 8, that means in the new shape, it's going to be double that, so it will be 16. So we're going to have to go way up here, and that would be L prime. Now, LM must have been the same as KN to begin with, so that would have been 12 and that would have been 8. So KN originally was 12, which means now that we're doing our dilation, the scale factor is, is 2, so we're doubling that. And this would be N prime. So its full length is 24, we went 12 more. To get M, we could just go 16 up because we know that the result has to be a rectangle again, or we could take this length and double it and figure out where M prime has to go and connect to get our resulting rectangle. Now the only thing we haven't labeled yet is K prime, and K prime is going to be in the same exact location as K. Because it was the center of dilation, it doesn't move. Notice that in our new rectangle, each length is twice as long as its corresponding one was in the original. But something that isn't twice as big is the area. If you look at it, four of these rectangles would fit into the big rectangle. So the area is four times as big, even though the scale factor is two, and each side length is only twice as big.